Zell Boy Army. How's it going? Big video today. Update to my tactics. As the game's so new, we're tweaking the tactics constantly still. We're still trying to find the perfect ones, the ones that just suit the game. We've even got a new patch this week, which is made. I'm probably going to end up changing them a bit more based on what works on this game. But this week we hit another 30 you know. so I've got the tactics that hit me the 30 you know. This is the team. The difference with the team was I actually had Van Dijk and Allison this week, but I'm starting to think that Varane is probably going to be better than Van Dijk. Simply put, his recovery speed's just crazy, and I really don't like Allison. I'm getting fed up with some of the ridiculously bad uh, errors he's making for me, so I'm trying to to I prefer him so far. Um, but yeah, this is the team. I don't want anyone say, saying, oh, do this without the team. Like On FIFA 18, on a road to glory, I got top 50 in the first month. I've been top 100 every single FIFA. Yes, I'm well aware the team definitely helps a lot. But it's not as simple as have this team and you can hit an easy 30. You know? It does get a bit boring when people make excuses and say the only reason they can't hit the top ranks of the team. Boys. If you like this type of content, please subscribe to the channel every day. Content dedicated to helping you guys improve. I'm hoping these tactics, updates to them, will help you out even more. Lots of people have been using my tactics so far this FIFA and found it's really helped them to get better results. And I'll show you all the tactics from my ultra defensive to ultra attacking. Let's get into them. <clears throat> An update to this tactic is when I start in balance, so that's the formation you start in there. I'm starting in the 4 2 3 1 for chemistry, but obviously Ronaldo doesn't play in CDM, but I need this for chemistry. I start on the balance. I'm now starting on constant pressure because when you start the game, if you don't have the ball and they have kickoff, kickoff is really dangerous. If you have constant pressure on this, it almost helps you to deal with the kickoff a lot better, which can make quite a big difference. Jambu recommended this one to me, and quite a few times I won the ball back straight away because nobody expects you to effectively have team press on at the start. Um, the 4 2 3 1 is my go to. One update I made to the tactic was to lower the width by one in the attack. I just felt that at times the Lamb and the Ram weren't involved enough, so to have the Lamb and the Ram get more involved with lower width was nice. Pretty similar across the board. Like There's not drastic changes. I hit 30 the week before. <clears throat> I've been playing well with it. I'm just trying to make minor tweaks to perfect it. But I feel like the tactic's in a very good place right now. Um, four width, four depth on the defense. Balance, balance on both because it just seems to work quite well. Lowered the whip slightly. Same players in box. I've put CR7 on balanced instead of stay central. I want him on balance just so he can float around a bit more, cause the defence a few more issues. We've put Pele on comeback on defence. I tried it and the cam just didn't really seem to lose much stamina doing it and it just makes it even harder to break down. Um, getting behind stay forward on CR7. Uh, the Lamb and Ram are come back on defence and get into the box. It means that they come from out wide and get into the box. That creates havoc for the defence. Cut passing lanes on both the CDMs. That was a change we made. Uh, did that to Zidane just to try and make him do a bit more there. The air at stay back while attacking. It's a key part of this uh, tactic. Is to have stay back while attacking on um, a CDM with cut passing lanes. You want like one destroyer, like an anchorman. Obviously, the air is the best probably for that. And then a playmaker in Zidane. You can do it with lower budget players. Obviously, just won't be quite as effective. Stay back while attacking on all the defence. I basically run um, this formation, 4 2 3 1, throughout most of the game. If I'm losing by a goal, I might go to the 4 4 2. If I'm losing by two goals, I might go to my ultra attacking 4 4 2. And if I'm winning by one goal later on, I'll probably switch to my 4 2 3 1 defensive uh, or second, which is my ultra defensive. One change I've made is to go six depth on my 4 4 2, not my team press 4 4 2. But this one, if I'm like a goal down, a bit more depth, get in their face a bit more. And I'm finding that's working quite well. Still high width. I think the only change on this part of the tactic is the higher depth, just to win the ball back more. Um, instruction, stay central, game behind, stay forward. I want these to stay central just because I've already got uh, the wingers on stay wide. Um, Zidane's on default everything except for cover centre. 
Vieira's on stay back while attacking with cover centre. You don't need them to cover the wings because the left mid and right mid do that. Come back on defence, stay wide, getting behind, getting to the box on the left mid and right mid. I want them to offer a lot of width in this formation so there's more space in the middle for the strikers. And then stay back while attacking on the defence. My ultra attacking, like this one is actually crazy. Like It's so hard for people to keep the ball against this. Team press is a bit broken on this game at times. Like it, It's too strong. Um, constant pressure is effectively like having team press on. So I have constant pressure. Pretty high width, but nothing crazy. I don't want to be too open in the middle. 10 depth, so I can get in the face. Just win the ball back as high up the pitch as you can. Fast build up, because I don't like fast build up generally, but with team press, when I win the ball, I want to go attack straight away. So it works quite well when you win the ball high up the pitch. High width, um, but not too high. Players, because you still want a lot of men in the centre. Players in the box, A, I don't want 10, because I still want a few men sitting on the edge for, to stop counters and be ready for loose balls at come out. And then high corners, high free kicks, because we need a goal. Uh, stay central, game behind, stay forward on the strikers. Similar to the other 4-4-2, but stay forward and cut inside. I want the left mid and right mid to cut inside, because the fullbacks are on join the attack overlap. If you're really struggling to defend in this, when you if they get past your press, you might want to put your fullbacks on balanced. Get forward, cover centre, and get into the box on Zidane, the better attacker. Stay on the edge of the box on the worst um, centre mid, who's a bit more of a destroyer, just so he can um, still help counter attacks a bit. And obviously stay back on the centre backs. I only really go after that in desperate times when I really need a goal, but it's so effective and people really struggle to deal with it. Um, my ultra defensive tactic is the 4 2 3 1 2. People really struggle to break this down. I don't like drop back generally, but when people are pressing and really going at your late game, getting every man behind the ball like this is very hard to break down. One depth, don't want any through balls in behind. Low width, the left mid and right mid will cover the wings. Long ball, it's good against the press. It's a very good way to stop people just easily um, pressing you in. You just do chip through balls over the top to the players getting in behind. High width, because when you stretch the player, it's harder for them to press you. Um, balanced, mix attack, stay forward on CR7. Come back on defense, stay in edge of box on Pele. Come back on defense, stay wide, gain behind on the left mid right mid. I want them to gain behind and stay wide, just so they can offer an outlet for me to get out of the press. Stay back, cover center on the CDMs. You could put cut passing lanes, but I like when I've got a lot of men around the box to man mark at this point, and then stay back on the full backs. Let's see where we finished in the world this week. I can't actually remember. I was going to get some Champs Channel footage um, from Weekend League, but when they do a title update, unfortunately the Champs Channel, you can see here, it disappears. So I couldn't get any actual footage. Um, I'm going to show you some footage from a friendly I played against a pro player though, uh, Red Bull Leipzig Gaucho. Played two friendlies against him, so I'll show you some of the tactic against him. Uh, where were we? We got quite a low skill rate, and I was away till like Saturday, so I couldn't play till late. There you go, two two fifty, not very good skill rate, but the thirty was all that mattered. Um, sixty fifth, so we're gonna get some pretty good rewards. I'll be showing those rewards tomorrow. I appreciate you all. Appreciate you watching this video. Let's see some of the tactic in action. So, like I said, guys, unfortunately. Champs channels down, so I couldn't show my matches, show you some clips from actual weekend league. But I played some friendlies against um, person who finished fifth in the world this week. Um, got some highlights from this to show you how the tactics work. So in this position here, we're in the four-two-three-one. I play the four-two-three-one probably about ninety-five percent of the time. I'm trying to defend here. He's bypassed my midfield, um, which is a bit frustrating. That's not where I want. But I tackle him. Lands back at him. Happens a lot in this game. And when we get there, I offside trap. The offside trap there just pushes the team up and works really nicely. And then from there, we win the ball back. And then this is one of the things the 4 2 3 one's really good at. You can go out wide to counter attack, get lots of width. <clears throat> you see there, I don't force it forward. I'm not going to go forwards unless it's guaranteed. My opponent's reading it well. You want to mix it up. When you go backwards and forward, it makes it harder for your opponent to get the ball off you. I turn here, I don't play the ball till I'm facing the right way. Quick ball roll, just to protect it, because if I don't do that, I'll lose it. 
quick turn, he doesn't expect this. Then the lamp and ram, quite often, especially the lower the width you go, more like to make these central runs, pass it, and it's a nice, easy finish. That has all started from defending to attack pretty quick, showing you how you defend, keep shape, you can use an offside trap, use your defensive midfielders to hold um, the line, shield your defense, counter attack, keep the ball, don't go forwards unless it's, you know for sure, time it right, quick trick, use the lamb and rams inside runs, nice easy goal, 4 2 3 1. Okay, we're going to watch my build up here from a goal kick. I always take my goal kick short, it's a simple tip, but works nicely. R1 or RB, just take it short. It makes it a lot easier to keep the ball. He did press me a bit, so made it a bit harder. I'm looking for safe options here. Mbappe's in space, so I do a quick one too. Play it to Zidane. Here, I'm looking always for my players in space. You can see at the bottom here, Neymar offers space. Mbappe there's taking um, another defender out of the way, but Neymar's offering space, which pulls Mendy out. And then here, the cam often runs in behind. If you keep the ball with the striker, the cam will make a run from here. You can see Pele there making that run in behind. He's going to have more pace than Walker, just about. Nice, easy through ball, good finish, and puts me in front. And all that just very quickly started from a counter-attack. You can see there the CDM of Zidane just coming from deep, offering more of an attacking threat, making it very hard for my opponent to defend. Bit of longer um, clip here, but you can see here defending trying to keep shape, constantly switching. Vieira always sits a bit deeper than Zidane, for the most part, and controlling my CDM. I don't think this year you want to control the CDM quite as much as last FIFA. Like last FIFA, there was times where you just it was stupid to even touch your defenders. You do want to be a bit more aggressive with your defenders this year, but a lot of the time I'll be controlling my CDM, trying to pull them out. Here, I know he's not going to shoot with Semedo, so I kind of just pull Van Dijk over there to make sure it blocks the shot. Now, this is where we counter-attack. I'm going backwards, I'm keeping the ball, not doing anything stupid. Using the CDMs. Using width. A lot of the time we'll be going backwards, sending our Lamb and Ram on runs. Quick scoop turn there, works nicely with Pele. I like to throw in the odd trick just here and there, just to make myself a bit more unpredictable. CDMs passing the ball about. Going backwards. You can see it's been nearly three or four minutes I've had the ball here. Just playing safe. My opponent's pressing well, switching a lot, making it harder for me. Finally found the pass to striker, so we go through. Here, Zidane gets in a lot of space. The Zidane run from deep here. I wish he'd been there, because obviously I could have through-balled it to him, and what I go for isn't guaranteed. But that run from deep from the CDM just gives enough hesitation for my opponent that he has a bit to think about, and it just gives me that space. And then here, Pele lets off a beautiful shot. Obviously, this is one where the team does make more of a difference. Not many players are going to be able to do that. Pele doesn't do it that consistent. But that little quick turn and finesse from there. One of the best goals I've scored this FIFA. But you can see there the build-up going backwards. How I defended to win the ball back. How counter-attacked went backwards. How the 4-2-3-1 can be so good. Boys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching. 30 no rewards coming tomorrow on the channel. Appreciate you all. Have a great evening. Peace.